Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, relatively healthy. Uh, ankle's a little swollen, but hopefully that's just uh, a little minor injury. That was his first Bellator fight. You said, I believe you saw on the mic that you guys had trained a little bit before. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I wasn't really sure um, what to expect. You know, guys, guys can train so much. I'm, I'm sorry, change so much in three or four years' time. So uh, I wasn't really expecting what I had saw in training. And what you get in training is just, it's just a glimpse of what happens in an actual fight. So it's, it's really hard to even base that um, on, you know, what's going to happen in the fight. Mm -hmm. What did he, what did he do with his eyebrows? Did he say yeah? <laughs> Maybe. What did, what did he do? I don't, I don't, I'll go back and watch the tape. Okay. Okay. Is there frustration? I mean, I know I talked to George Young. He said he wants to fight with you, but you are waiting for a title fight. Everybody's waiting for a title fight. How frustrated are you? It's like, all right, when are you going to title? When is there going to be like some movement so everybody can figure out where they stand in the back? Right, you know, um, I, I, I try to lead my life in a way where I am accountable uh, for my own actions and, and ultimately it makes me happier because I'm in the driver's seat and, you know, I, I'm, I'm the one making all the decisions. And so when I lose the title to Ryan Bader, I don't feel like I want to say, give me title shot, title shot, you need to be fighting people in this division. I want to win fights and make the fans say, well, what the heck is this? What's, whoa, 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 whoa. He keeps winning. What's going on with this title? Somebody, he's got to defend that title. And I, I think it's gotten to that point. And uh, I think hopefully he's going to fight against um, uh, Nemkov. Thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll, get some, we'll get some fresh blood in there and see where we're at. But uh, my job is simple. Go in the cage. Fight, win, and um, I'm just uh, wash, rinse, repeat. You're known for your elite level wrestling, but it seemed like you wanted to go in there and make a statement on the beat. Does that mean that? You know, there's nobody uh, in MMA who I will not trade punches with. Um, there was a time when my sole purpose in punching was to distract you so I could take you down. And, <laughs> and I'm happy to report I've graduated. Uh, you know, I, I plan to connect. So, um, you know, uh, no, I, I don't think I, I'm trying to make a statement with my, my stand-up in, in any of my fights. I will simply wait for the opportunity. I think when you script a fight before it happens and say that, oh, I'm going to take this guy down, I'm going to hurry up and shoot a take down, that's when bad things happen. You know, fighting is a reactionary thing. And if you've already decided that you're going to take the guy down, there's a chance that you're going to leave yourself open to get kneed or kicked, and it's not what I want. Yeah, you, you look kind of right at the very beginning, and it seemed like every round you just kept advancing. You feel mm. like you were breaking in as every minute that went by? Definitely right at the end I felt that, but um, I'm one of those people who uh, – I've always been a competitor that gets better as time goes on. And uh, that's just my style. Uh, my brother used to tell me when he and I used to wrestle in high school, he's like, Phil, if they don't absolutely beat you in the first period, you're going to kill them over the next two periods. And, uh, and I've kind of carried that. Uh, sometimes I'm a slow starter. With me and my coaches, we've, we've hurt, worked harder uh, getting a faster start. That's one of the things I believe held me back from getting the nod in, uh, in a close fight with Nimkov was uh, we, we got started and it was kind of a 50-50 round that could have gone either way and he got it. I think it's both. You know, I, I, think, um, I think I gain momentum as the fight goes on and I'm more, uh, you know, at, as I begin to like, you know, like in, in poker, they call it the lean. When you get more chips than the other guy, you just call them on everything. And that's, that's how I, I like to look at it, you know. I'm not going to back up. I'm going to keep going forward. And, oh, if you come forward with something, well, we're going to meet and see who has the stronger punch.
in the Grand Prix? Oh, I want all of them. I want everybody. There's, there's room for plenty in the Grand Prix. Um, well, I definitely got to I definitely got to get a win back over Mr. Nemkov. Great fight. He's a great competitor. He just had a big win. Um, but most likely he's waiting to fight for the title. Um, I would love to fight him. Um, great fight, close fight, and um, he got the win, so I got to get that back. And uh, whenever there's an opportunity, I would love to fight for the title again. Yo, we spoke earlier this week about the rising fellows or rivalry. Mm. Mm -hmm. His name is Jerry. Uh, yeah, I was going to wait and let you say it so I didn't mess it up. Yeah. Right, right. The champion. The champion. Yeah, I would love to fight him. He, uh, he's a great, great, uh, great talent. He has a great range. He, uh, he keeps a great pace. You know, fighting in, 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 uh, in that format, that 10-minute 10, 10 format, that first period is, uh, you know, it takes a special athlete. Um, so I, I know he's, he's game. He's a, a great fighter. And uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm all about testing myself. Um, sort of in, in, in some of the lead up to this fight, I was asked, you know, what does it mean uh, to fight someone who is a, definitely a dangerous fighter, but not as well known to the American fans? And I'm like, listen, I'm about testing myself against the best fighters. I don't care who knows them. I know they're good. They're, 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 they're as long as they're great guys and they have great records, I want to test myself against them. It doesn't matter who it is. Is you know what you did? Is the guy you went to look at? You know, big name, former champion. He's around Bellator. He's somebody that is he a wrestler killer? Is that somebody that you would maybe try to fight? Because it's a it's a big notch in your belt. Who's that? Leo Machida. Leo Machida. So the thing about him is. Right now, he's at 185, so it wouldn't be necessarily fair to call out a man who's smaller than me. But um, I do have a win over him, highly contested, but I have a win over him in Brazil. That's not easy. So, um, I mean, I, man, if he wants to fight, I would love to fight him again. Love to fight him again.